Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Tevenin and Norton theorem. So in this video, I will explain what they are. And in the next video, I'm going to do one example for the Tevenin and Norton equivalent circuit. So first, let's start with the Tevenin equivalent circuit. So we have a Tevenin theorem. And in this Tevenin theorem, It says that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by a voltage source and a resistor. So the theorem is saying that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by A voltage source and a resistor and this voltage source is in series with the resistor so I'm going to write here that a voltage source in series with the resistor okay so I'm going to let you know what it means so let's say that we have a linear two terminal circuit so here whatever circuit that we have over here we just know that this is a linear two terminal circuit right so that linear two terminal circuit it means that i have two terminals coming out of the circuit and it is connected to the load so the load can be variable and this Tevenin and Norton theorem will help us for, uh, in these like uh, changing the load. So when we change the load, if we have a simple circuit uh, on your left, then everything will be easier to analyze, okay? So if here I have terminal A, terminal B, we have a voltage over here and a current, okay? So any kind of circuit we can have over here in the linear two terminal circuit and the load can be anything okay Tevenin's theorem is saying that this configuration can be converted to a voltage source in series with a resistance so this means that all the left part will be shown by V Tevenin in parallel in series with R Tevenin and here I still have my load and terminals A and B are still there okay so how can I find R Tevenin and V Tevenin so each of them for each of them we have to go over um, a specific steps so for R Tevenin, we have to turn off all the independent sources. So turn off, turn off all the independent sources. What does that mean? It means that if I have a voltage source and I turn it off, it will become a short circuit. This is a short circuit. And here we are turning it off. See? If I have a current source, this current source, if we turn it off, it will become an open circuit. An open circuit. Okay? And here I am turning it off. So this means that Whenever I have a circuit and I need to find the R Tevenin and V Tevenin, I have to go ahead and turn off all the independent sources. See, I'm saying independent. It means that you don't have to turn off the dependent sources. And then we have to calculate the equivalent resistance that is seen uh, from the load point of view. Okay? So... If, for example, this is just an example to show you how we can turn off the independent sources. Let's say that I have over 
over here and here I have my terminal A and terminal B positive negative we have V here I have two R's okay this terminal A and B over here note that I disconnected the load over here so this doesn't mean that it is open circuit when I am calculating the R7 so this is something like this it was connected to a load so I disconnected the load so I can look from the load point of view what will be the R equivalent okay so this is where I want to look at and find R7 so when I want to find R7 my voltage source will be a short circuit so what is R7 over here is R in series with R and it will be 2R okay and when I want to find V Tevenin, so I found R Tevenin over here. So now I want to find V Tevenin. So in order to find V Tevenin, we will bring back all the independent sources and we will make the load terminals an open circuit. Okay, so let me write here that in V Tevenin is equal to V open circuit and this V open circuit is the voltage across the loads terminals okay so when we go over uh, an example this will you will be more comfortable doing the uh, problems in Tevenin and Norton equivalent circuits. So we talked about the Tevenin theorem. Now let's talk about the Norton theorem. So when you know the Tevenin theorem, it's very easy to go ahead and find the Norton theorem. So Norton theorem is saying that any, again, the same as what we have for the Tevenin, only that this time that two terminal circuit can be replaced by a current source in parallel with the resistor okay so whenever I have so I'm not gonna write this one I'm gonna just draw the figure so here I have a two terminal linear circuit and here I have a B the terminals of the load and over here I have the load okay so Norton's theorem is saying that these two terminal linear circuits can always be modeled as a current source in parallel with the resistance so this is terminals A and B and over here I have the load okay so this is R Norton this is I Norton how can I find R Norton and um, I Norton so R Norton is equal to R Tevenin so the same way that we found R, Nor R Tevenin we can find R Norton as well it means that we have to turn off all the independent sources and then find the R equivalent from the load point of view okay in order to find I Norton what we have to do we have to so for I Norton we need to short circuit so is short circuit the load terminals and find the current over there Okay, so technically we can say that it is the current when we short circuit the load terminals. It means that I have to short circuit this A and B in my circuit. Okay, all right. Now you can find the Norton equivalent um, resistance and Norton um, current if you have the Tevenin resistance and Tevenin voltage right we said that R Norton is equal to R Tevenin now I want to find I Norton 
so i norton is actually using the ohm's law so it's equal to v tevenin over r tevenin or r naught all right so this was the explanation for tevenin and norton theorem in the next video i'm going to go ahead and do an example on tevenin and norton um, equivalent circuits so you can leave any comments or questions that you have down below and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching